So today we're going to be learning about why so many people are turning to alternative, holistic, integrative medicine um, than ever before. So uh, before we get started, you can go to medomamassage.com to get started with your introductory massage package. We'd love to help you out in any way we can. And um, so yeah, so today we're going to be talking about how um, alternative medicine is actually becoming so much more mainstream. Proponents are saying that integrative and holistic treatments such as acupuncture and incorporating nutrition um, are finally being recognized and accepted in the traditional medicine world. There's been this clash for so long, um, but there are places like Medoma um, that are opening up that blend both um, traditional medicine and holistic practices as well. So there was a time not long ago when um, alternative medicine conjured up all these uh, thoughts of crazy people, um, but times are changing. In the past few years, doctors and uh, conventional healthcare institutions in the United States um, are now accepting, accepting of uh, new treatments and philosophies that historically have not been part of mainstream medicine. And so the term alternative medicine has actually uh, shifted to integrative medicine. So um, Modoma is an integrative, <clears throat> integrative medical clinic. Um, there are also other places like, uh, not like Medoma, but that also incorporate um, integrative medicine into their practices, which is blending both types of medicine. Uh, proponents explain that integrative medicine addresses the full range of a patient's physical, emotional, spiritual, and environmental influences, everything together. It deploys therapies that extend beyond um, surgeries and drugs that have historically defined the American medical establishment. Um, unlike some of the believers in alternative medicine, integrative medicine supporters do not reject conventional um, or traditional medicine. And um, they insist that there's room on the table for all options. Integrative medicine um, advocates and integrative medicine advocates say that while pills and procedures uh, still do help millions of patients, the evidence is mounting that diet and nutrition, um, natural therapeutics such as supplements, vitamins, herbs, and acupuncture, along with lifestyle behaviors such as exercise and stopping smoking, have a direct impact on disease. A lot of this just seems kind of common sense, um, but Believe it or not, until recently, um, these things have been kind of pushed to the side. So um, multiple healthcare executive doctors and patients um, say that the driver of this trend is, over, is overwhelmingly patient demand. So that means that we are coming to our practitioners saying, hey, I don't want to be on all these medications. What else can you give me? What are other ways that we can um, address my health care? Um, so, so, um, sorry guys. So the program um, that, form, that uh, formally um, has studied how diet, natural therapeutics, and lifestyle behaviors such as exercise can treat a variety of diseases um, is growing. And um, there's the largest center for any integrative medicine that exists um, in our country. Um, there are studies that show how food can have an impact on cancer and other diseases as well. Um, typically, um, doctors, you know, when it comes to oncology, they're very, very hesitant to suggest natural therapies because of what is at risk. Um, but even in that, there are still things we can do with our diet in order to um, in order to help treat, stop, reverse, um, even cancer. Um, so one of the most significant shifts towards a more integrative approach in medicine um, has been seen in pain treatment due to opioid overuse and opioid addiction. So um, uh, it's estimated that more than 2 million people in the United States who are prescribed opioid pain relievers such as uh, oxycodone and Vicodin suffered from substance abuse. Um, Two to three times more referrals have been reported um, for people seeking alternate and integrative therapies um, when it comes to their pain relief. 
So um, there's many non-pharmaceutical options such as electrotherapy, uh, Tai Chi, and mindfulness meditation, um, as well as massage, diet, and supplemental therapies um, such as herbal, uh, herbal products, ginger, cumin, and um, other, other type of supplements and herbs that you can use um, that are actually extremely good for um, pain relief. So um, what they provide is that there may be a better fit for a patient than a normal medicinal prescription. For example, ginger may help that migraine patient um, and stomach symptoms and people with nausea. There's also some evidence that ginger may heal um, gastritis um, and can also, um, um, you know, as I said before, relieve migraines and headaches. So um, there are just there are just a bunch of these different types of therapies. And um, just want to say you are um, we want you to take control of your own health. You are your biggest advocate for your own health care. Be your, be a mouthpiece to your doctor, um, to us, if you come see us, to, to any healthcare provider um, that you end up seeing. We want you to be your own advocate for your health. Speak up, um, say what you want. You don't always have to be on several different medications. Um, if it's a desire of yours to um, treat your pain relief and um, maybe even other issues that you have going on in your body holistically, um, visit medomamassage.com. We would love to help you out. Um, it is not just medically integrated massage. Medically integrated massage um, has much more to it than just your massage. Um, we have healthcare providers here. Uh, we have we have uh, several highly highly trained massage therapists um, that are trained in higher level modalities than uh, than most spas. So anyhow. Again, you can go to medomamassage.com to get started with your introductory massage package. And uh, we would just love to talk with you more and help you in any way we can. You guys have a wonderful rest of your day.